With the pandemic going on, there is a lot of talk about health and what's being done to keep us all safe. Well, there is plenty going on right here in Arizona, and it is being highlighted in Arizona Bioscience Week, and it's happening this week. And here with all the details, this is Joan Kerber Walker. She is the president and CEO of the Arizona Bio Industry Association, also known as AZ Bio. Great to see you, Joan. What an incredible week of events and inspiration uh, this is going to be. But first, talk about your organization. Organization. What do you all do? AZ Bio brings together Arizona's healthcare, innovation, and research community to look for answers for the problems that we face today and every day. Yes, and you have the arduous job of producing a virtual Arizona Bioscience Week, and I know you're going to do an incredible job. What can we expect from this Arizona Bioscience Week? Arizona Bioscience Week has something for everybody. We have educational sessions for children and teachers can tap into those as they're teaching. We have educational programs for grown-ups and gray hairs like me. <laughs> we also have a very special event that's coming up and you're our partner. Yes, and we cannot be more thankful to be a part of this. Um, this is a collaboration. I know that the Arizona Bioscience Week is virtual, but you're bringing this into the home. A two a one hour special events. It's going to be on two different networks here. Tell us about this celebration. So celebrating life and science brings together stories about the people who are working together to help us during this challenging time, but also all throughout the year. So we have wonderful stories about students. We have stories about our incredible frontline workers. And then we have interviews with some of the leading scientists in the state. It's a can't miss event. Yes, it's a can't miss, and you're going to have a chance to see it on CW61 and, of course, ABC15. And I want you to remind us, Joan, it's the little things that we need reminding of. What can we do? We can all do our part to get those COVID numbers down. Well, as a mom, I always reminded my kids to make good choices. That starts with when you're out in public, around people that you're not with every day, put your mask on and leave it on until you're away from people again. In addition, some of the basic hygiene habits that we should always be following, wash your hands thoroughly. If you touch something that you don't know where it's been, wash your hands again. Mm. And when you're around other people, keep a reasonable, safe distance. Nobody wants you in their face anyways. <laughs> when you say and, wash your hands thoroughly, you mean it. Like, get in there, right? Get in there. <laughs> you know, fingernails, behind the rings, ladies or gents. And, you know, make sure that you're getting all those little, as my kid, my kid said, get the germs out. That's right. So, 20 seconds is one thing, but getting in there and really thoroughly washing. Absolutely. And remember, if you're not feeling well, stay home. You could have the flu. You could have something else. But it's important to stay home, get tested, see your doctor. Yeah, those are just, again, those are safety reminders. And again, masking up Arizona, right? We, we, we talk about it on ABC 15 all the time. Mask up Arizona, do your part to get those COVID numbers down. Well, again, we are so ecstatic to be partnering with you all for Arizona Bioscience Week. We cannot wait. And we want to give you some information. Celebrating life and science. This will be a one-hour special broadcast event airing on Wednesday, the 16th at 7 p.m. on CW16. And then again on Friday, the 18th on ABC 15, late night following the second airing of Jimmy Kimmel. And if you are interested, you can still register for the free educational events. Just visit azbio.org forward slash azbw2020.